Last week, we saw the power of positive thinking. This week, we are going to see power of problems. First of all, let us see the benefits we get out of our sufferings. Only when we get problems, we think of God and pray. Sufferings discipline us. For example, smoking leads to cancer. Hence, we avoid smoking. When we solve problems, we get self-confidence and also confidence in God. Problems improve us our talents. For example, when we are chased by a dog, we run faster, even faster than when we run in a race. We can turn our adversities into opportunities. We can see it at the end. Now let us see. What Bible says about sufferings. In fact, God describes sufferings as chastening. Hebrews 12, 6, 6 says, The Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Romans 12, 12 says, Be patient in affliction. Isaiah 41 10 says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 1 Corinthians 10 30. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but also he will provide he will provide you a way out. What are the benefits of suffering? According to thy good. This may result in praise, glory, and honor. No discipline is pleasant now, but it produces righteousness and peace. Our temporary afflictions work for us in bringing eternal glory. Sufferings for your glory. Consider your trials as pure joy. Apart from David, who were all blessed due to sufferings? Didn't God make parentless Esther as queen? Didn't Moses become the leader of the Israelites despite his speaking disability? Were not Joseph and Daniel raised to a higher position? The cross, the symbol of punishment, had become the symbol of glory after Jesus' crucifixion. What is the reason for God choosing the weak? God chose things the world considers as foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. He chose things that are powerless to shame the powerful. Whenever God wants to give you a gift, he won't give you in the form of birthday gift covered by colorful wrappers. But he always gives you the gift in the form of problems. Okay, you wrote three books on how to convert our problems into prospects. Or can adversities into opportunities. From that book, why don't you give some examples like cases wherein they could turn the adversities into opportunities. Yeah, we have, we have been seeing about problems, sufferings, persecution, so many things. Okay, now at the end, I want to tell you at least a two, three stories from my book, Vada Nikolai Sanagra Martinel. Okay, wow. Now, I will tell one story, then Johnny will tell one story, okay? When I studied in Uri's College, Velu, I was included in the volleyball team. Along with me, there was one player called Yagambara. Later on, he joined the police force. He was playing not only volleyball, but also basketball, okay? Very good player. He was having squint eye, okay? In Tamil, they say Marukan, okay, skill type. 
So whenever he brings a ball like this in basketball, he will look that side, that direction. All the opponents will go there thinking that this man will pass to his friend. But because of his squint eye, he will turn this side, but he will focus on the board, basketball board. He will put it very nicely. Okay. So in those days, people were called lame, handicapped people like that. Later on, <coughs> they were called physically challenged. But now they are called differently able. Okay. Or specially able. Thus they have got talents. God has given them some talents compensating their problems. Okay. So that is one story. Johnny, you tell one story. Yeah. Eagle built a nest with the help of the feathers from the chest. Oh, from the chest it will pull out some feathers and build a nest, beautiful bed. Okay. For the eaglets. Okay. Then what happened? Then when the eaglet got feather, then immediately the eagle destroy the nest. Oh, okay. Then it will lift the eaglet and the gut and carry it to a higher plane. Okay. To a higher level it will carry it. Then, then suddenly it will slick away the eaglet so that it will fall. Oh, it will push and make it fall, make the eaglet fall from the higher level. Okay. Then what happened? Eaglet never expected this. Then, with the help of the feather, it tried to fly. Wow, oh, okay. Then again, eagle came and took the eaglet on its back. Oh, again, it came and took the eaglet on its back and carried it again to a higher level. Again, will push it outside so that it will try to fly. Likewise only God also sometimes he pushes us so that we will learn something new. We will become an expert in something in some field. Okay. So they are all blessings so that we can fly high, high, high just like eagle. Okay. The Okay, the third story is the farmer, though he gives nourished food for the plants, some trees, in some trees, the entire food, okay, is being taken to only leaves and branches, not to the flowers and the fruits, okay, and uh, Farmer, what he does is, he will take an axe and cut slightly at the bottom of the tree. Okay. So that next year, the entire, entire food will go to the flower and fruits. It will give you a very good harvest. Okay. Okay. Sometimes we are also facing problems. At that time, God will chop something from us so that we will produce immense result. This is the book written by me in Tamil on the topic Turn Adversities into Opportunities. This is the cover page and the back cover page looks like this. Okay. I want to tell something about this book. This book was published in Malaysia before four years. Okay. By Kalendan Publication. And uh, Roughly 50 writers were selected and their books were selected for publication in Malaysia and 50 writers 
were taken to Malaysia by flight, everything free, and staying for three days in a fantastic hostel. And they conducted convention for one or two days. Then the third day, they showed us important places in Malaysia, and we came back with lot of sweet memories. We cannot forget it throughout our life. We must thank Kalinam Publication for this. And uh, the cost of the book is two hundred rupees. And uh, two ministers came. and they gave us awards and other things one is dr dr subramaniam okay and he was the sports minister then okay he gave a very good lecture and it has got five parts in the first introduction i reveal the advantages or benefits of suffering and problems both bible wise and secular wise i have given lot of points okay and this book has got five point five parts first part is of course i have taken five stories from bible in the second part i have selected 20 secular stories okay and in the third part i have given seven stories about nature where god gave some problems in the nature or animals in the plants so that they could use them as advantage as benefit in all the three parts i explained how those people could convert adversities into opportunities trials into triumphs they are very useful and in the fourth part i have given general characteristics or attitudes in seven essays like exercise music self confidence courage like that all these characters are very important to prevent problems to prevent suffering prevention is better than cure they say and in the last part fifth part that is more important I have given eight essays, wherein I give complete details of how to overcome problems like quality circle. It can be used both in the office and also at home. Lateral thinking: how we must think differently to solve the problems. Then. another chapter lot of lot of solutions we must uh, find more solutions so that we can select the best one and uh, how instinct can be used how intuition can be used how hypnotism can be used how even dreams can be used to solve our problems okay so in the in my lecture about the power of problems i have given many points taken only from this book but more than that 40 times of the information i have given in the message 40 times are available in this book okay when i hear that i some iit students commit suicide i feel terribly sorry for them probably if they read my book this book they will get immense self confidence they will know that any problem can be solved they will get confidence and courage and they will not 
um, go to the extent of committing suicide. And finally, I want to say, I have given roughly, roughly 40 stories in this book, along with pictures. See here, pictures. Okay. So, I have given lot of pictures here. Okay. For self-confidence. This picture, like that. Roughly 40 pictures with 40 stories. Apart from that, I have given some some roughly 20 jokes, okay, <clears throat> in the boxes, 20 jokes I have given. Apart from that, I have given roughly 200 quotations. If I say that, I have collected all these materials for more than 25 years, you may not believe the holy. After collecting these materials for 25 years, I put everything important in this book. If at all you want to read this book in Tamil, okay, please send 180 rupees. The cost of the book is 200. I am giving reduction of discount, say 10%. But and I will bear the research charge or the courier charge. If at all interested, you please contact me. Through my mobile nine triple four one four double eight three two. Okay, that is my number. I have given the final uh, picture card also. The picture I have given the number. Please contact me if at all you are interested. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye.